You put the stats on the paper. And four points, two rebounds, and two assists does not normally get you in the NBA. It just doesn't. Davis from North Carolina State, who got his team to the Final Four, went undrafted. And this boy got drafted. <laughs> you guys, y'all know I got some. Y'all, y'all, y'all know I have a, I had a statement for this one. So, uh, the only, I mean, obviously, I know they want to make history. I know it's a very, it's all about money too with everything. LeBron kind of, you know, with it now. And I was just talking to one of. I was talking to a coworker about this last night about this because I was like, I'm going live and I know we're going to end up talking about this because I didn't even realize that Bronny did get drafted. But I think right. I heard that he was like 55 or something. Yeah. So he's pretty low. The thing, and of course, he got to LA, which we knew that was going to happen because LeBron's too much to pay to go someplace else. But one thing I wanted to say, which was very interesting, is like, did we all forget that? You know, did they all forget that he just went to a cardiac arrest like recently? But, and the thing that really where I said it was, you know, I have to go back. Y'all know I love Mr. Jamar Hamlin. And I had to go and say, okay, so Damar was cleared, all this other stuff. The Bills <laughs> will not put that man on the field. Like, she right. is like their, an, an emotion, almost like an emotional support cheerleader. Like yep. their, their mascot. I love you, Damar. I don't mean it like that, but you get what I'm saying. No, he, like, he's not their... He's not on the field. like, And I don't know if it's more, like we said before, if it's the coaching kind of mentally still trying to do get him back on it, if it's himself. But to have Bronny go out and do it, like, afterwards, it's kind of like, are you are you ready in there? Like, yes, your dad's there, but at the same time, this is still your body. Like, you had a very significant event. Like, mentally, are you ready to be back on that court and stuff like that? So why would they draft him like that? I mean, he could have been drafted as a free agent, if anything. But the whole thing about it was, so my coworker kind of did a little devil's advocate on me talking about some. Right. Well, it's basketball compared to football. You know, they don't hit as hard. But, of course, you know, we had that debate a couple of, you know, a couple of lives ago which said, which athletes are more <laughs> – Yes, we did. And we definitely said it was the NFL, which is true, because I still make fun of how basketball players get hit and go, uh. And yeah. they sound literally like that on the floor. But, and he said that, and it's just saying, like, they don't get hit as hard. But I wanted to say to, to that defense on that, NFL, yes, they do get hit harder, than it, but they have pads on. The NBA, when they knock people out, they don't. And who was it that got hit in the, in the NBA finals? Oh, man. Who was the Celtics player that got hit in his mouth? And he, like, his teeth, he got knocked in the mouth and his, his then like, it's, uh, uh White. Then it's White. Yes. So you're telling me, like, in, like, okay, in football, yes, that happened possibly. We don't ever really see people's, like, mouths and stuff because they have, like, mouth guards and stuff. But in the NBA, like, they knocked him hard enough that he ended up having, like, broken teeth and stuff like that. So, obviously, there's still a, a level of concern that needs to be on there. So, I don't know how much playing time Bronny's going to get, all the other stuff. Obviously, he don't need uh, – clearly, this is not a money thing because – Well, some people said LeBron is setting his son up to be a millionaire because he's going to be in the NBA and he'll have his own money. And that was one side of it. LeBron was being a good father – because he was uh, setting his son up. Okay. I read okay. somewhere That's that... Fine. Uh, but either way, I feel like he's still going to be a millionaire because I'm pretty sure he has a trust fund set up for him. So, next. <laughs> My thing is, he said he wanted to be known for his skills alone and not his daddy, but, but you're lying because your skills alone were not good enough, really. You should have stayed in school at least one more year. To at least make your skills a little bit better. How are you going to tell me that somebody that went to college all four years, got their team to the to final four, and was one of the standout players in the, in the whole NCAA tournament, and he don't get drafted, but this boy get drafted? 
Really? I mean, the only thing I can think is it's something like personal that they'll be like. It's uh, nepotism. Like that's it. the word. The I word mean, is a... nepotism. And I mean, would I, if I could get my daughter a job where I worked, making a bunch of money, but if I knew my daughter won't really qualify, I'd have a problem with it. But that's personally, you. a lot of people don't do that. It's just a like lot of people do. Apparently, he don't. And I mean, because if he was another player, averaging four points, two rebounds, and two assists, this would not be an issue. But it's LeBron. Now, I also read Michael Jordan didn't do it. Michael Jordan didn't push his son to do it. That's true. 